Hi, I'm Dennis Cometti, and we have a big night of football ahead of us as Hawthorne and Collingwood prepare to renew acquaintances in what promises to be a cracker. Tonight we're here at the MCG. It's very balmy out tonight. And joining me in the box for special comments will be Matthew Richardson. G'day, Dennis. Always a pleasure to call a game with you. The players launch into the first term. It's not the will to win that matters. Everyone has it. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. McAvoy outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. Able to grab it on the half volley. Hits the running man. Gunston runs in. Going for goal number one. Give him a wrap and they let you down every time. You're right, Dennis. That is a letdown. A desperate kick there. Golsack catches it. He kicks quickly. Trelaw spills it. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Intercepted by Shield. Gunston has his head down now. Slots it. Hawthorne take the first goal. There's the bounce. McAvoy has so much potential, he could just be anything. Mitchell passes it, approaching home now. McAvoy picks it up. Ballantyne dishes it off to the running man. No one around troubling him there. Bruce goes for home. The Hawks are in front. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Claimed by Ryder. Pendlebury pounds it long to his teammates. Gibson hand passes to space and hopes for the best. Chips it down towards half forward. Takes that one strongly. And that torp has gone supernova. Gibson takes the mark. Jams it on the boot. Reed with the mark. Reed's just got a lot of tricks in the bag, which makes him so very hard to stop. He's also got an amazing highlight reel. Pendlebury with the ball. Puts boot to ball. Frawley with good strong hands. He gets boot to the ball. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. In the back. They should dust him for fingerprints. Side bottom slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. He kicks quickly. Great mark. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell him, Richard, what are his chances from here? Should kick this nine times out of ten, but you never can be sure. 45 meters out. The bounce. Laser straight. McAvoy not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leaf out of the Karate Kid and sweep the knee. A rush kick. Fasolik grabs that one. Only 90 seconds remaining. Slams it on the boot. He had perfect control over the ball right up until the minute he kicked it. Crawley kicks to himself. Kicks it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Wells has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. Cameron lining up with the goals. He boots it. Barco with the catch. Barco shoots for goal. It's on its way. That miss is going to come back to haunt him. Crawley plays on. A lovely drop pass. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Kicks it across the ground. Pendlebury marks it. It's a beautiful angle right where you need it. They'll strip them of the lead if he nails this one. What a goal. What a display of football. That was sensational. Ryder is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game, and you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. Cameron with a strong mark. He lines it up with the goal. Cameron kicks for goal. Cameron nails the crucial goal. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Punched by McAvoy. Bounces favorably for Watson. Trelaw just told him to turn his head and cough. He's really a ball magnet. He picks up the loose ball. The ball mopped up. The loose ball scooped up. A clean pickup. He's a ball magnet. Shield. He's got it. He's drilled in with a huge bump. He takes the shot. Valentine. This game is getting more exciting by the second. McAvoy with the mighty fist. That brings us to the end of the quarter. That brings us to the end of the quarter. The first break is over, and we're back in action. Never give up, never give in. 
and when the upper hand is yours, you may have the ability to win with the dignity that you absorbed the loss. Umpire bounces the ball. Hill gets the interception on the bounce. Hits the running man. Mitchell with his head down, running for home. Goes wide for a behind. The scores are all tied up. We've got deadlock. A desperate kick there. A mark by Langdon. Langdon sends one up towards the wing. Great grab. Burgoyne puts it on the boot. Reed over the top. A desperate kick there. What made the awkward bounce look easy? He's got great hands. Oscar Elliott shoots for goal. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Frawley can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. A nice contested mark. Puts boot to ball. Valentine claims the ball. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Gunston claims it. Perspiring like a putting in a pot as he lines the shot up. Gunston hammers the ball for goal. Hawthorne get a goal. Goal number two for Gunston. The Hawks have scored the last two goals. The Hawks in front, but only one goal the difference. He's a long kick. Valentine has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. 30 metres from home. The ball is hammered towards goal by Ballantyne. The Hawks on seven points. Dunn has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. Reed marks the ball. He kicks the ball. It's a mark. He boots it. Hoskin Elliott just couldn't hold on as the ball is punched away. Cameron kicks the ball. Goal for the Magpies. Ryder hits it. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Bounces favorably for Hill. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Pendlebrick collects. She's running hot, Richo. Yes, super work from him in this match, Dennis. Shield did not ease up. Sends the ball out into space. He collects the loose ball. Intercepted by Langdon. He collects the loose ball. Gunston wastes no time and bangs it forward. Wins the hard ball. Ruffhead taking aim. 25 metres out. Going for goal number one. Score for Hawthorne. That's his first. Ruffhead kept his cool and gives them a timely goal. Here's the bounce. McAvoy has his feet firmly on the ground and is just a great leader around the club. He gets his hands on the footy. Gunston running in about to kick. That's a goal. The Hawks played. Nice bounce. Guided by McAvoy. Reed controls. He collects the loose ball. Golsack, a good crummer, goes by hand. Picked up the ball. She's running hot, Richo. Yes, super work from him in this match, Dennis. Virtual with a clinical drop punt. The mark is taken by Ryder. He boots it from the pack. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. What kicks it a long way. That'll be brought up by the coach of training. Out of bounds near the goal. Stratton directing the play. Sends it outside the 50. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Richard, what are his chances from here? I don't know if he'll make the distance here, Dennis. Bounce goes the ball. Clean tap by Ryder. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Mitchell with a perfect drop punt. Great grab. Valentine winds it up. Ruffhead was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. It's a beautiful angle right where you need it. He takes the shot. Roughhead will be happy with goal number two. A much needed goal for Hawthorne. There's the bounce. Quarter time here. See you after the break. And here we go for the second half. Do not let what you can do interfere with what you can do. Gunston is streaming past and gets the footy. He runs into the goal. Valentine thumps the ball for goal. The Hawks beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 46 to 32. Hands like dinner plates. Puyopolo with a chance if he keeps a cool head. Puyopolo with a kick at goal. Ball heads out of bounds. 
done a massive kick off the boot. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Jams it on the boot now. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell him that's a very well-executed goal. Hawthorne by 20 points. The bounce. McAvoy with the mighty fist. Rioli made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Valentine has the chance to add one more to his talent. The Hawks lead Collingwood. Dunn has a lot of passion for this game. You can see it every time he steps onto the field. He's an inspiration to all players around him. Watson with the ball. He boots it. He takes the contested mark. He kicks the ball. Hill with great hands. He gives it a punishing kick. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Bad kick, resulting in a free to Collingwood. And over the boundary line she goes. Kicks into the middle. Mitchell catches. Chip kick along the wing. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Wells kicks it. Only two minutes remaining. Nice mark there. Birchall has so much potential, he could just be anything. Ballantyne claims the ball, he handballs it. Hawthorne getting some momentum back. The Hawks lead the Magpies. The bounce, laser straight. McAvoy with first hands to the ball. Bounces favorably for Hill. He runs into the goal. Touched it as it crossed the line. Dunk will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Nice contested mark by Gunston. Puts boots a ball. Wins the hard ball. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Shot by Ruffhead. All eyes are watching. Hawthorne with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading Collingwood 66 to 32. Side bottom gets it on the bounce. Pendlebury picks up the loose ball. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Punch by McAvoy. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Reed chucks the ball away. The spilled ball is collected. Definitely palmed to advantage. He gains possession. Trelaw gains possession. Looks like he panicked there. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Kicks it. The contest, no match for him. Hill, he's just got a strong pair of hands when it comes to marking. Goldsack marks the ball. He boots it. He gets the upper hand. He lines it up with the goal. He gets boot to the ball. That's a nice, strong mark. Cameron going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short. Tactically, this will. 35 metres out. Here's the bounce. Good fist. Controlled by Wells. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Pendlebury puts the ball in the hands of fate. Crawley wins the marking contest. Crawley has got an amazing vertical leap. Hill, with beautiful hands above the head, he really is a great target to kick to. He kicks the ball, he gets it under pressure, he gets boot to the ball. What marks it? Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. That'll be brought up by the coach of training. And there's the siren. One quarter to play. You can't just beat a team. You have to leave a lasting impression in their minds so that they never want to see you again. I haven't seen him for a while, Richo. Yeah, he's had a really indifferent game out there. Oscar Elliott doesn't come near the ball too much. Mitchell gets it on the bounce. McAvoy has the ball. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richo. Yep, Dennis, he's a class act. He's a ball magnet. Bruce collects hand passes. Bounces favorably for Trelaw. Reed throws it, clear as day. Mitchell winds it up 50 meters from home. Mitchell hammers the ball for goal. The ball spills to Reed. He just can't get out of the action. Steady hands there as he holds that one. No questioning whether the Magpies can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. Collingwood need to start kicking more direct for goal. Good mark. Wins the hardball. 
And he's missed. The Magpies need a score here. He decides to play on. A talk from Crawley. Virgil looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Not a pretty drop pump, but it gets away okay. Mitchell claims it. Slams it on the boot. Marked by Ballantyne. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. 65 meters out. A set shot on a 30-degree angle. Passed by Bruce. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. McAvoy, with the hit, takes control of the bouncing ball. Strong. <laughs> His kicking is unbelievable. Some people don't go that far for their holidays. Watson with no time to delay with that kick. He's running hot, Richard. Yes, super work from him in this match, Dennis. He just can't get out of the action. Let's hope the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Well, you've kicked a few in your time. Do you give him much of a chance from here, Richard? He should have no problem kicking this one through. The clock ticks down with only 90 seconds left. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Virgil lobs the pass. Mitchell again, Richard. He's using the ball superbly, Dennis. That play is as high-tech as a can for Man Curtis with a big bump to Doug Langdon. Shucks the ball away. What ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. Out of bounds it goes. Shoulders locked, eyes on the ball. Rydek directs it down. The ball in the hands of Cameron. Elliot soccers it. Elliot executes the goal well. Umpire bounces the ball. McAvoy with a big fist on it. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Nan Curtis was taken high. Nan Curtis goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several to Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. McAvoy takes it well. He gives it a punishing kick. Marked by Nan Curvis. Richard, what are his chances from here? It's just too far out for him, Dan. 50 metres out. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. Ball goes over the line and out of play. It'll be a throw-in. The ball has been thrown in. Ryder got the hit out. Lucky bounce collected. Quick hands find the running player. That had some power behind it. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Gibson is a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. O'Meara gets a favourable bounce. A good hand skills there. Puts boot to ball. Is the thing that